Hey, looky there at what they played. I might be regretting my life choices of not having a cut down in my hand right now, because they're not in the deck. Hello and welcome, Dirty William here, back with more mono black dirty discard shenanigans. Um, yeah, so I re-rolled this today, and, no, this one, and it was the same thing. Sure, why not? I was trying to get rid of the cast black spells because I'm going to be playing a mono black deck. So it's going to give me 500 coins, which is good enough for a pack, but it's like, uh, I really wanted uh, something different. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, I was checking out the mastery pass thing here, uh, what I've received so far, and I'm pretty close to one more mastery orb, which I guess I'll use for sleeves that I probably won't use, sure. Um, anyway, let's get into the deck. So here is the deck list. Starts off with three Hopeless Nightmare. Uh, drop that so that uh, it's basically a shock and somebody has to discard a card. Uh, Ruthless Negotiation exiles a card. Uh, they get to choose what it is. Bandit's Talent, of course. Uh, play that on turn two and or hopefully get a card out of their hand. Uh, at least one. And then uh, bump it up so we can have some card advantage. Go for the Throat, Shieldred's Edict, those are both for getting rid of pesky, you know, things. Um, the Skullcap Snail. Now, I put this in so that uh, I could have somebody discard a card, basically, but I'm really thinking that the Bat is better, because I get to see their hand. I can't really tell what they exile from their hand, but at least with the Bat, I can see their hand. Just like Hopeless Nightmares, it has some card advantage, but I also prefer being able to see what they've got, so maybe duress in that spot. However, I will say that sacrificing it and like scrying two is pretty good, so we'll see. And I have a one of Cruel, Cruel Claws Heist, which is pretty nice, depending on uh, the matchup, I guess. Cerebral Confiscation as a one of target to opponent discards two cards, or they reveal their hand, and I get to. This is just raw. Um, get rid of cards out of your hand. Uh, it's kind of like mind rot effect, um, which I like. You know, it's it's like, do you want to pick it apart uh, slowly, you know, with stuff, or do you just want them to get rid of things? Um, raw getting rid of cards is probably better for this kind of deck. Got three preachers. I got some Lilianas. I got Shieldred. I got uh, Aklazots. I got uh, more creature removal and Virtue of Persistence. Now, all of my removal, creature removal, is two cost. So that kind of sucks. Um, so I can't, like, turn one cut down. We'll have to see about that. I mean, again, I might get rid of uh, something, and this is just trying to play around with it and see what I like and what I don't like, what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And then the mana base is 21 Swamps, one Fountain Porn, one Murex, and three Mishra's Foundries. It seems like in recent games I draw, uh, by, like, turn four I have two Mishra's Foundries, a Murex, and, like, a Swamp. So it kind of cuts me off from a lot of, you know, playing two things at once. But anyway, let's get into some games. So I, deci I decided to do some ranked stuff, uh, like last time, which is, you know, we'll see. So no turn one play, but I'll keep it. Why not? Hello. How are you? Uh, play Swamp. Swamp go. Turn one kill. Bra, bra, bra. Mono red, maybe, possibly. Ah, no. Okay. So it's uh could be a lot of different things. Let's play this and play a snail and they have to get rid of something. We'll see what they might discard here. Maybe a land, they got a full grip, so they might not need a lot of lands. It could be bats. Who knows? Opponent is thinking. What should they get rid of? They're making a decision. The decision is happening. Maybe. They got rid of a Dawn's Truce. You and permanent you control gain Hexproof till end of turn. That's interesting. I like that card, though. Uh, for the other text on here, if a gift was promised, permanent you control gain indestructible until end of turn. That's kind of nice. Opponent, please planes. And they plot something. They plot a Dust Animus. If you control five or more untapped lands, it enters with two 1-1 one -one counters on it and a lifelink counter. That's kind of nice. Good for them. So, uh, let's see. We will attack... Get our whopping one damage in. Uh, let's go ahead and play another snail and a hopeless nightmare. 
I mean, they can play this as a, it's going to be a 2-3, which is not bad. I can try to go for the throat. They are thinking about what to exile from their hand. They chose to exile uh, an Essence Channeler. Oh, so they do have some bat action. I'll go ahead and throw that in, too. Might as well use all of our mana, right? Try to disrupt their game plan a little bit. Someone recently uh, commented and said that uh, they they hate discard. They absolutely hate it. What they get rid of? Frontier Seeker. Look at the top five characters of your library. May reveal a mount creature card. Okay. Play Blossoming Sands. Two mana open. A white and a black and a white. Or two whites. Okay. Uh, whenever it dies, uh, they get to draw a card. It has lifelink, which is pretty nice. So, my snails are not really attacking. This is one of the benefits, I guess, of having... Uh, should we go for the throat here, or should we wait? I think we will shieldred. No attacks. They lose two life, down to 16. They play planes. Is the opponent going to... They need one more land, and they get that big old beefy dude. Tenth District Hero. Collect evidence. Uh, pay two mana. Well, they could do that now, I guess. Comes a human detective base power, toughness 4-4, four, four, and gains vigilance. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Make a 4-4 four, four guy out of it? Sure. Opponent passes. Shieldred. I gained two life. So what do we do here? Um, I'm thinking that we just go ahead and attack. It has death touch. They'll probably block with their life linker, I would imagine. We really wish I had another land. Opponent takes two from the Shieldred, plays a Plains, now they can play their Plotted Guy. Uh, enters with two 1-1 counters and a lifelink counter, sure. They have one card in hand and five mana open. They play a Life Creed Duo, when another creature control enters, gain life. They might have played that first and then the Dust Animus, but uh, we will get rid of that guy. Go for the Throat on the Dust Animus. It's one of the bad things about plot, is you can kind of see when things are going to happen. They can attack with their lifelinker. What am I going to do? I guess it would be a swing. I'd be down to 18, and they would be up to 14. They're going to be at 14 either way. Opponent attacks. Um, yeah, no blocks. I'll take it. I'll take the 5. You gain 5 life. You're back up to 15. Well, I thought it was. Doesn't it have lifelink? Oh, vigilance, not lifelink. Uh, okay. Well, I did not draw the other land, so that's abysmal. Um, let us attack with Shieldred. They'll probably block with uh, the life creed duo, I would imagine. You know, I wouldn't block with my vigilance guy, because that would be dead. Uh, we'll go to next. kind of tricksy stuff are you going to do? Collect Evidence 4. If it's a detective, you can do stuff. Becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Hang on. Becomes a f uh, becomes legendary creature named something. Whatever. Base power times is 5-5. Five, five. Gains other creatures control of indestructible. So I really need to kill that off as soon as possible. But there's no way I can. Let's... Preacher. Because they're going to do that next turn, and then other creatures are going to have indestructible, which I can use the val uh, the virtue of persistence to kind of get around that. So it's a five five. I do two damage by blocking with both skull cap snails, because it says other creatures are indestructible. Yeah. I gain two. I play Mishra's Foundry. We're going to go ahead and attack with both things here, because I will get to draw a card. 
and lose a life. Bandit's talent, that's pretty nice. Other creatures indestructible, sure. And let us... What should we do? Bandit's talent? What's Bandit's talent? And we'll upgrade this. And we'll end turn. You know, go for the throat would be pretty nice right now just to get rid of that guy. But it's not going to happen. Claim Jumper. Uh, opponent controls more lands than you. You may search a library for a planes card, put it in the battlefield. Then opponent controls more lands than you. Repeat the process. Okay. I do not have more lands than you, son. But you now have a 3-3 three, three indestructible guy. Um, yeah, pass. No, no blocks. I will take the five. Gain a life. Play a swamp. So whatever they block with is going to be dead. So let's go ahead and attack with Shieldred again. <coughs> again, it has Death Touch. They'll probably use their 1-3 Lifelinker guy. So they gain a life. I wonder if I should... I think I'm going to have to throw this guy down. Aquazots. Okay, they're down to three. They drew a card. They're down to one. I mean, you got a life linker guy. Can gain some life. Another frontier seeker. We have the same amount of land, so it's basically an indestructible 2-1 guy. Look at the top five. Uh, you may reveal a mount creature card. Oh, okay. That's different. I thought it was the claim jumper again. <laughs> this have anything special? Indestructible and Vigilance. Meh. You sure you want to do that? I mean... Yeah. No blocks. You don't have any cards in hand. You can't pull any tricksy stuff. You're back up to two. I gained two life. You're going to be dead on the next turn. Right? Sure. We'll do this. Get to draw another skull cap snail. Oh, well, that's the end of that. Well, that's an interesting, uh, interesting deck. That one card, uh, bumping it up, is kind of like the whatever it is, Gix guy. Hey, it ranked up. I'm ranking. Bronze tier three. Uh, don't see me getting past that. How many tiers of this stuff is there? Are there like four tiers or something of each one? That's probably something I should look at. We've got no discard whatsoever. That is dismal. Your opponent has taken a mulligan. Uh, I'm going to keep. Are oh, they going to mulligan again? They're thinking hard. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Oh, the pizza. Oh, God. It's a mimic. Can I open the door? Hello, lady. Their thing over here is asleep. Their animal. <laughs> okay, so they went to six, looks like. And they play a Scoured Barons, tapped. I will play a Swamp and say go. Uh, planes? Sure, I guess. Oh, Essence Channeler. Bats. Okay, uh, so should we just uh, virtue persistence that, or just get rid of it in some other means? As long as you don't have to license turn, uh, yeah, we'll say in the turn. We're gonna have to go for the throat that thing. Should have done it while they were on tap because they might have some kind of protection spell. I'm not really up on what they've got in standard right now that is able to make things indestructible and this and that, whatever. Uh, whenever another creature control enters, you gain one life. Whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Okay. That sounds cool. I'll pass. They attack. I go for the throat. As one does. Put a counter on it. Sure. We will go ahead and virtue that. Okay. 
because I really don't feel like that's a good thing for us to have on the field on the opposite side. Opponent plays another tap land to gain a life. They're up to 22. They pass the turn. We are going to play a swamp. I'm sure they've got something in their hand that is just dismal, so we're going to run out the preacher first. So in three turns, if I... Yeah? Yes? Get lost? You can't let me attack with it, because I'll get some kind of value out of it. <coughs> I think I'll get a life linker guy? Ah, oh, Legion's Ashes. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So we will Hopeless Nightmare, um, I guess. I don't want to cast Shieldred into that right now. Three, four, five, six. Play the Fountain Port next turn, but we're still one mana shy from casting the Virtue. But I'm sure they have a Get Lost. They're playing white. I mean, white, the Get Lost is a pretty good card. What do they get rid of? Moonrise Cleric. Okay. Opponent's turn. I think I'm going to crack this Hopeless Nightmare so I can draw a card. Because I really want to be assured that I get that uh, other land. But now I can't because they're playing Gix. So, goody. Pass. My turn. Go for the throat. Kill the thing. Draw land, play a fountain port, say next, and the turn. So it's either crack that or I pay one life and create a fish. Hey, there's Delaney. Sure. Creatures can't be blocked unless they, uh, like, power two or more or something like that. Uh, play swamp. Five, six, seven. We could virtue here. I feel as if they have something in their hand. Let's play Skull Cap Snail. Creatures you control with power 2 or less can't be blocked by creatures with power 3 or greater. If an ability of creature you control with power 2 or less triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. So what they exile here? They exile, expel the interlopers. A 5 cost, choose a number between 0 and 10, destroy all creatures with power greater. So they got a sweeper in their hand. Okay. Um, sure, in the turn. Until I can get something that makes them discard so they don't have anything, I'll feel more comfortable playing Shieldred. Pass. They're attacking. I can't block. Oh, I can block. Well, I'm not gonna. How about that? They are severely deprived of mana. So that's interesting. So let's see. If I pay three and pay a life, I can create a fish token guy. Should I do that? Or should I crack this? I think I want to crack this. I can attack for one with the snail. I don't need more of that. I do want more of that in my life. So they can get rid of two cards in their hand. Uh, we'll attack. Attack with the snail. Slowly. They're down to 19. We will cerebral confiscation. Target opponent discards two cards. Target opponent. There's only one opponent. Why is it making me choose who it is? It doesn't say target player. That's got to be some weird coding thing. I don't. I don't know. What are you getting rid of here, buddy? Ernesto. They got rid of a Phyrexian missionary and a Wisp Drinker vampire. Okay. They still have one card in hand. I'm gonna just pass on Shieldred. I guess I'll pay a life and make a fish. Go and attack. Sure. Um, uh, sure. Make a fish. Pay a life. Do all the things. So we will have them exile with the Ruthless Negotiator. These games are not fast at all. This is one of the reasons why... Uh, I'm really thinking about making up um, the Mono Red Quixie deck thing, but I don't know. Go to next. Go to attack. Um, I think I am going to, if, if they attack with that, I'm just going to make a fish to block it, so I'm not down to 14. I mean, it doesn't have trample or anything like that. It doesn't die, but, you know, whatever. Okay, let's... Two black. 
for another snail. Get rid of whatever card you got, and they're down to one card in hand. I could play the Ruthless Negotiation as well. Shieldred's Restoration. Return target creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah, I feel more comfortable getting rid of every single thing that you have in your hand. <laughs> they had a Shieldred. Ha! Huh. Funny, funny. Um, yeah, we'll attack with both. Down to 15. I'm at 15. We're all at 15. Oh, he's got something. He looks like he's going to get rid of my snail, so I take two damage. Maybe. If they don't cast anything, I've got Hopeless Nightmare to get that thing out of their hand. Just a very slow and grindy game. They're looking at my graveyard, too. Maybe they're waiting for me to cast the Virtue of Persistence. So... If I, I sh yeah, I, well, I, I just cast that. I take two, then they're taking three on the next turn. I'll just take, I'll take two. Who cares? It's fine. If I draw land, I will have enough to play the Hopeless Nightmares to get that last card, card out of their hand, but I don't. And Virtue of Persistence, I was going to say, but I can't. So, we will attack. And we'll Hopeless Nightmares. They take two damage, they discard the last card they've got in their hand, which is Allegiance to Ashes. Yeah, Shieldred would have been dead a long time ago. We'll end the turn there. Unfortunately, I don't have enough... Uh, hey, there's another uh, another dude. Cool. Ash. Yeah, I'll take the two. Now this time, I am going to activate this goes to the graveyard, scry two, so I can set up my next turn. I really want to have something that kills a thing. Because they do have board wipes. This has death touch, and I get a vampire out of it. But I'm not sure if that's the thing to do. Oh, uh, God, why? Uh, yeah. I was on the Virtue of Persistence plan, and I still think that is the smart thing to do. I don't have three mana to pay for this. I can sacrifice a token and draw a card. Let's do that. Sacrifice token, draw a card. We'll get rid of this fish. Costs me nothing. Hey, looky there. Um, Six, seven, eight. So I could Lily and have them sacrifice one of their creatures. Likely that guy. And then hold off on the Virtue of Persistence. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and have you sacrifice a thing. Let's see, they gain life off this. As long as you've lost life, it's it gets flying and vigilance. Whenever you gain life, put a 1 1 counter on it. Whenever it dies, put two counters on its thing. Okay, so let's uh, attack with everything. They're down to nine. If they don't block. Okay. Um, I think I want to play Shieldred. Let's play Shieldred. I've been holding on to that for, like forever, so I think we should just do that. They just drew something. Maybe they can draw something that will get rid of Shieldred. Or wipe the board. Okay. 1-3 Outlaw Medic. Lifelink. Yep. Kill off Lily. That's smart. Pass the turn. There we go. Well, we got Aklazots, so that's kind of nice. Um, I think what we're going to do is we will attack with uh, Shieldred. They'll block with the Life Linker more than likely. Or should we attack with everything? Attack with everything. They're stuck on three lands for This is like turn 85. This is pretty dismal for them. I, I feel bad. They're up to five. They put a counter on Essence Channeler. They get to draw a card. They lose two life. In the turn, they draw another card. They lose two life. 
Hey, they finally found a land. Nice. Sorry, you're having mana problem. Yeah, that sucks for them. They, I mean, that was like turn 85, and they lasted that long. That is, I mean, commendable. Good job, Ernesto. 12 minute long match. Blech. Oh, let's see what's going to do me in this time. I've won two matches in a row. It's time for me to lose. Antonio! So we got a turn one, Hopeless Nightmare. Turn three, Sleep Shariva. Confiscation. Uh, two lands. Oof. Hello? Wee. Hi, kitty. Wake up. I'm going to send my thing out for pie, and it drops it like it does. Womp womp. Okay, turn one. I play Swamp and Hopeless Nightmare. They take two damage. They discard a card. See what they've got going on here. Try to make an informed choice. There's so many weird decks out there at these lower levels of play. I mean, it's... Huh. It doesn't seem like it's mono-red, or they would have... So I got rid of a Bitter Triumph. So they are on the mono black or some kind of black plan. Swamp. Hopeless Nightmare. If you do, I'll get rid of a Preacher. Gnawing Vermin. Target player mills two cards. Oh, so they're going to mill me. So they're probably, what, black, blue or whatever? Something like that. Um, yeah, I can play nothing. Go. Oh, they're milling themselves. So this is like some kind of reanimation thing. Since I'm a discard deck, I'm really helping them out with their plan. Rat. So it's rats, then? Yeah, I gotta take it. I have no creature kill whatsoever. Cerebral confiscation? Should I just look at one and make them discard it? Here, I'll just help you out, buddy. Discard, discard what you need to reanimate things with. How about that? Yeah. It's all I can do. It's a discard deck. What are you going to do? It, it's uh, it's not perfect at all. So they get rid of a Go for the Throat and an Izumi Line Breaker. Okay. I'm going to be taking five the next turn. Opponent plays another Swamp. And plays a Kakadakadakada. Look at the top five cards of your library. I'm going to reveal any number of rat cards from among them. Put the revealed cards in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any random order. Cool. So they got a rat. They got a good hit there. And guess what? This deck has no sweepers in it whatsoever. So I can't get rid of any of this stuff. Uh... Play the preacher and block something because it's got death touch question mark. Yeah, good game. I don't think I'm wasting my time with that. There's nothing I can do. They they literally have, like, every creature ever on the board. Congratulations. You're the winner. You're the big winner today. That looks nothing like Drizzt, is it? Come on. Okay, so we got creature removal, we got some discard, and we got a bunch of high-cost things. Fabulous. Keep seven. Why not? Hello, Drizzt. Durden. Don't say hi back or nothing. Their sleeves. Wanted. Reward offered. Dead or alive. Hey! Looky there what they played. I might be regretting my life choices of not having a cut down in my hand right now. Because they're not in the deck. That is highly likely. Oh! Otter plan. What are you? Trample prowess? Oh yeah, that guy. Okay. Um. Well, how about we... Play this and kill that because I don't like that at all. So for me, I would have played something that I don't mind dying, and this is the play that I want to stick around. <coughs> Turn three, win the game. Uh, one damage. Oh, thank you. And uh, what is this? Or if you cast an instant sorcery spell, it gets plus one, plus one, two on the turn. Okay. So, spell slinger deck. Two damage in your target. Cool. Draw a card. Yep. That's fantastic. Uh, 
let's play this and a snail they can exile a card from their hand next turn they can play this guy <laughs> what you gonna get rid of They are going to exile a Lightning Strike. So they got some, you know, it's a Spell Slinger deck. Not so sure how good we're going to do against this either. Yep, play that guy. You got a mana open. Well, would you shock there? No, you wouldn't, because it has Summoning Sickness. You don't want to do that. Okay, so let's Virtue of Persistence this thing. We don't need that. You got a, uh, oh, what's it, one mana blue spell that gives it protection. Hexproof. Shore up. Hexproof. Yep. Okay. Sounds fine. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's until end of turn. I thought it was until end of turn. I didn't think it got counters or something like that. But smart play on them. Hey! It's that thing. Again. Pass. Sure, I'll just pass the entire everything because I can't do nothing. Let's play that. Let's have absolutely no creature kill at all. Which is lame and stupid. But, let's make them... Discard? I think I want to get rid of the creature off the field. Even though they'll get rid of Lily here in short order by shocking it or attacking it or whatever, it's still like... Yeah, just sacrifice the other guy. Really? Oh my god, why would you do that? That's shocking. That's very strange. But I guess next turn they're just going to flip this thing. Uh, what does this have again? Uh, it has Trample Ward Prowess, Prowess, Double Prowess, Triple Prowess. Uh, no attack. In the turn. It has Trample, so we're going to be picking, taking some damage. But I'll just I'll block with the snail. It's done its job. This is one another good thing about the bat over the skull cap is the, uh, the fact that it has flying. It has some life game. Yep, sure. Yep. And now cast another spell. And it has like double prowess, so it's going to be a five five. Really? That's that's a thing you can do. Uh, it has Trample. And Ward 2. Eh, no blocks. Sorry, Lily. <coughs> Pass. Sorry, lady. Better you than me. You're kind of expendable. Uh, can I do anything with this? Nope. Hey, more non-creature removal. That's awesome. So let's get in. Attack. Attack, 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 attack. And let's go ahead and play our Aquazots. Flying Lifelink. They're going to be probably killing that off with some manner of lightning strike slash shock. So I'm not going to block. They're going to have to waste a couple of things on it. Or Torch the Tower. Torch the Tower would work as well. Nothing I can do about it. And it removes it as well. Exiles, I think. I found something. It's a thing. It's a body. Pony, do you see this? Look at this. Glass. Glass bracken. A whip. No locks. I'll take it. Cast your spells. Pump it up to a 6-6. Six, six. Really? Interesting. Or a Brask? Holy cats! What does that guy do? First strike, cast an interest source of one damage to target opponent, add 85 mana. Oh my god. That's crazy. I'm gonna do two to them with a hopeless nightmare and have them discard a card. Whatever that might be in their hand. This, this is looking pretty grim. Oh, 
I wonder if they have the return target creature or whatever to somebody's hand. If they do, I'm conceding because I, I'm i done. We've been playing this for like five years already. Mm hmm. Do one damage to target opponent and add a red. Okay. Congratulations. It has prowess and prowess. And hexproof until end of turn. Okay. Untap it. Okay. We are going to attack with our flyer. Gain some life back. Play Bandit's Talent. I need one more mana. Man. Or, or, or. Throw down on the Preacher. It's got Death Touch. I mean, this has uh, Trample and Ward and stuff, and this guy has First Strike, so just take the damage from Urobrask, I guess, and block with the Preacher. I'm double blocking in case they do some weird shit. Okay. Fair enough. Well, how come that didn't die? Does it have indestructible or something? Three more things. Oh, it has first strike. Oh. Well, that's stupid. Okay. Attack with our guy. Interesting. Yeah, next turn was going to be Lily. You get rid of something. Probably the Urabrask, I would think. But then you're going to be staking, like, two a turn. So, eh, not bad. Yep, third win. It's already 40 minutes. Holy God. Uh, yep, I think I'm going to cut it there and do the rest of this stuff offline for today. My other match that I need to do, because i got other stuff to do. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Please share the video. Please subscribe. If you subscribe, it costs you nothing, and it really helps me out. So sub, sub away. Just hit the subscribe button, as one does. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and all the other aforementioned things. Until next time, this is Dirty William doing the dirty work.